Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 30 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have one number that is equal to the multiplication of two other numbers. So we have two numbers, a, b, and c is the product of a and b. Now let there be another number that is prime, and we're going to call it d, and let d measure c. Now if these three conditions hold, then d will either measure b or it will measure a. So let's prove this. Let's assume that d does not measure a, which means that since d is prime, and d does not measure a, then from the previous proposition we know that d and a are relatively prime. Now as many times that d measures c, so in this particular example d measures c four times, let the number e be composed of four units so that c is now equal to d times e. Now, if c is equal to d times e, it's also equal to a times b, so d times e equals b times a, which means that the ratio of d to a will be equal to the ratio of b to e. That's from Proposition 19 of this book. Now, since a and d are relatively prime, and we have a ratio d to a, which is equal to another ratio b to e, we know that d to a, the, rate, the numbers d and a, are the two smallest numbers that can represent the ratio d to a. So we know that d is less than b and a is less than e. And subsequent to this information, we know that a measures e and d measures b. Again, this is because d and a are the two smallest numbers that can represent this ratio, and that comes from Proposition 20 of this book. So now we have shown that D measured B, and that's what we were trying to show all along. So to recap, we have two numbers A and B, we've multiplied them together to make a third number C. D, which is prime, measures C, and D if it doesn't measure A, D measures B. And that's it for this proof.